In this video, I will show you how to plot the significance in t-test results as well as ANOVA results using GraphPad Prism 8. So let us go back to our example file that is uh, in the GraphPad Prism. We have independent t-test data, so let us work with this data. So we have old and young rats and for the independent test, the good starting point is mean with 95% CI plotted on the column graph. So how do you do that? It's very simple new new graph of the existing data then you go with mean this is column of course mean or median with error so instead of st we will go with 95 percentage confidence interval and you click ok so it will give you the graph old and young rats right so let us uh, adjust this graph so that it becomes more clear two way so I will have to go with the everything, Let's change all data sets and instead of filling that I will go with the light gray color and let us go with both sides. I click OK. So this is what it is. So as you can see the there is not much an overlap, a very slight non-overlapping region you can see. So that means that it is quite significant but we will also have to inspect the results of the independent data so let us go back to see that unpaired t test this is what so we can also label this sheet here independent t test just by clicking this icon label so i'll just put a purple color here so independent t test this is just label just for the sake of convenience to go back here so let us inspect unpaired t test data as you can see the b and a and b young and old the p-value is 0 0.0030, which is p-value summary is significant. Uh, so to mark the significance onto this uh, column uh, plot or the plunger plot, so all we have to do is that we can just mark the significance here. Uh, so for that, you can, you know, there is an option here, draw option. So you can uh, you can click here. There are several kinds of option comes up. So of which this is just fine. You know or you can also go with this kind of uh, uh, line with the significance level so i'll just go with the first one so starting point the middle of the first graph i'm just clicking and holding my mouse and then i'll end up here and how much is the significance so as you can see it is two star so i have to mark here two star significance so it's a very convenient way to mark the significance level in that case so here x title is nothing but uh, subjects or I just have to remove it no problem and why is why title here is a bladder urinary bladder relaxation so that you can type in directly so this is one way to plot the significance but the star grazing the problem I have already told you about so this is not that much recommended way so a much better way is with a confidence interval that we will have to do while performing the t-test itself so let us go back here while performing the t-test you have to click analyze and the t-test fine so let us reanalyze it so here of course is unpaired and parametric unpaired t-test now in the options you know we will also have to graph the ci of difference between means so that is 95 percentage confidence interval the confidence interval you can set here 90 95 99 or other of course let's go with 95 percentage confidence interval and uh, we are also graphing the ci of the mean uh, difference between the means so once you do that you will go have to go down here for the new graph has come here the difference between the means see this is what uh, is intended young versus old the difference between the mean the 95 uh, percentage confidence interval span from around 39 to around 8 so this interval do not include our null hypothesis of zero so that means it is significant so this is a very good way to plot the results of your t-test uh, to represent in graphical presentation rather than just going with uh, you know going with this kind of uh, uh, the star so anyway, this is how to perform, uh, you know, how to actually plot your results into a publication quality data. 
now let us go with the pair t test as well so for the the match group before after plot is very good as i told you and you can uh, directly plot your p uh, pair t test values on it or the best way is that you can uh, go with the second option that is 95 percent ci let us reanalyze it analyze t test i click ok then reanalyze fine so while reanalyzing it's paired and options i will also put a graph of the ci of difference between means i click ok so as you can see here the difference between the means mean difference of unpaired data and as you can see here the confidence interval spans between uh, self-fertilized and cross-fertilized just below zero as you can see it is my it's all in negative but it's just below zero so the zero is not included so that means it is significant but as you can uh, say rightly say it is only borderline significance so this is a very good way to plot the t-test result uh, uh, graphically to present graphically now let us go to the the third one that is nothing but one-way ANOVA data. So this is the one-way ANOVA is U, uranium, lead, arsenic, and uh, mercury. So this one to plot it, it's uh, you know you can uh, uh, again the confidence interval or you can plot it in a bar diagram. So let us go with the first option that is the bar diagram. I click here new graph of the existing data. So I go with the mean with st in st standard deviation, I will go with 95 percentage confidence interval. The column, usual column graph, I click OK. So, as you see, the column graphs have already come up. I will just change to make it into two directions here. So, let us change all data sets and fill will be the B option 1B and uh, both sides of the error bars i click apply and okay so now that we have two sides of the error bar so now uh, to change this one this is one way anova uh, data so one way anova we'll have to click the one way anova results here so which is that paired or unpaired uh, the ordinary one way anova so this is the result of the ordinary one way anova with the multiple comparison so we'll have to click the multiple comparison so as you see that uranium versus lead is significant uranium versus every other is significant lead versus arsenic is also significant but lead versus mercury and arsenic versus mercury is not significant so to plot all this data together one convenient way is to use text so how do you do that so let us actually put the text here text option is t I click here A. Another is another again. I click here text. So this will snap onto the text, you know. So I can click left and right arrows. So I click again the T, the text option, and I click here B. And another T, this is C, because all these are different significantly and another one more time t that is the text i click here b comma c so what does these numbers means as you see that if the number is differing the letters are differing that means that uh, uh, there is a significance so if the numbers are not differing subsequently subsequent graphs are not differing in the letters so that means there is no significance uranium versus lead a and b yes there is a significant difference lead versus arsenic b and c yes there is a significant difference uranium versus arsenic a versus c yes significant difference uranium versus mercury a versus bc yes significant difference now arsenic versus mercury is there any significant difference no because c and c same letter is being shared no significant difference lead versus mercury is there a significant difference no because b and b is being shared no significant difference so this is a very convenient way to plot the difference directly onto the graph which is uh, you know which is a conventional way to plot it but much better way is directly while you perform your uh, you know analysis uh, let us go with this one way ANOVA you can plot the 95 percentage confidence interval how to do that click analyze 
as usual we will go with one way ANOVA and in the one way ANOVA click OK well let us reanalyze it and no matching of course and now here multiple comparison well, let us do the multiple comparison and uh, options of the multiple comparison is to key here is graphing of the confidence interval this is very very important so once you click this graphing with the two key then while clicking ok so you can just go down here there will be a new graph of the two keys so as you see that this is the difference between group means 95 percentage confidence interval group means is nothing but the, the difference between the column means so this one is the zero is our uh, null hypothesis so arsenic versus mercury and lead versus mercury the null hypothesis the the range defined by the 95 percent ci includes the null hypothesis lead versus arsenic it's quite near so it is only borderline significance but the other three cases uh, significance is quite strong as we can see that so this is the better way to plot the 95 percent uh, to plot the uh, ANOVA result graphically so finally you have uh, two-way ANOVA that is uh, not the repeated measures so pH here the <coughs> groups are defined by the pH while the column the columns are by the pH while groups are by the temperature so if you plot this data graphically so let us go with the, let us try it out first so the new graph of existing data it's a grouped table format and I click here summary data mean with stand S plus D so here you see that these are in the temperature 25 30 35 and 40 and we have seen that the uh, none of these uh, you know these temperatures have significance so this is not what we would like to plot we would like to uh, change the x and y axis so we need to present the ph because the difference in ph is more significant than the differences in the temperature so for that we have to transpose the two data so first we will have to work with uh, our data set here that is a two-way ANOVA so here analyze you click analyze and transform or normalize there is an option called transpose x and y so i click transpose x and y reanalyze just i click here uh, exactly same thing so now the see that the column values and uh, the rows have been transposed the ph is now in the row so there will be an automatic graph as well you click on this graph and then you will see that so of course this is what the transpose to way ANOVA now you see that pH 5.5 6.5 and 7.5 let us inspect the two-way ANOVA results here so the the, the two-way ANOVA results are here presented here as you can see that the results are about the 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 temperatures so that is not what we would like to do so we will go we will reanalyze the same data uh, for the, the two ANOVA so analyze two, two ANOVA find all these data reanalyze it so this time we will also do a multiple comparison and the options of the multiple comparison also include the graphical presentation with the two keys I click OK <clears throat> so as you can see the multiple comparison if you look at this multiple comparisons so let us uh, we will have to redo the multiple comparison once again because this is not what you intended to do that so two-way ANOVA I click on the multiple uh, two-way ANOVA that is pH uh, the transpose data we will have to click this is a transpose data and let us do analyze this data to a ANOVA so none of this is now selected it's not of course it's not matching so we can also put some factor names column factor is here the columns are temperature so I have to click here temperature while row factor is pH and multiple comparison 
and uh, row mean with every row mean would you like to compare the row mean or would you like the row mean with the control row mean so every row mean is absolutely fine from the ph so options includes the graph and i click ok so now you can see that interaction the p value is yes ph there is yes but temperature there is non significant so the ph is more important than the temperature here and the multiple comparison of the ph you can see that 5.5 .5 to 6.5 it is 2 star 5.5 to 7.5 it is 3 star but 6.5 to 7.5 it is non significant so this value you can plot it here 5.5 to 6.5 is 2 star so we'll go down uh, the transpose data so here you can put this uh, this is nothing but drawing one line here so I'm doing 5.5 to 6.5 I click these two things to the middle of these two values and I click here 2 star now again I draw 6.5 to 7.5 3 star so it is a very convenient way to plot this so we'll have to click here the the title so you know this is the nothing but the transpose of this one so this one we can just draw a little bit down or more down if you would like to and then you know uh, you can also adjust the the next one as well so if you if you would like to plot it so once again you can plot it uh, 5.5 to 7.5 is non-significant so that also you can plot and you can adjust of course that uh, you would not need your title so then you can adjust it so this is uh, a good way so this means that 5.5 and 7.5 it is non significant but 5.5 to 6.5 it is 2 star while 6.5 to 7.5 it is 3 star more significant these two data as you can see that in our uh, results so uh, the transposed results uh, this is the result here as you can see that this is a transposed and uh, two way ANOVA result is this so this is the result here as you can see two star three star and non significant now uh, if you remember the multiple comparison we also choose for the confidence interval to plot it so there will be a new graph already formed for the confidence interval the last graph so this is a confidence interval of the 6.5 to 7.5 as you can see the interval includes our null hypothesis while both do not include so as you can see 5.5 to 7.5 interval is more far from our null hypothesis so this significance level might be more stronger than this significance level so I suggest you to go with this sort of graphical representation rather than going directly with the uh, uh, the star option onto the, the column plot. Thank you for watching.